Hey, what's up guys? This is Victor from Master Body. I'm going to talk about healthy fat real quick. I have a buddy Andrew who's trying, he's struggling to get in all of his healthy fats for the day. He's cutting his calorie or cutting his carbohydrates to try to lose body fat. And typically when that happens, you have to get your energy from somewhere so he's eating more fat. Now, I was a little not surprised, but um, for me, this is by far the easiest of the three macronutrients to get in. Macronutrients meaning carbs, fats, and protein. And I'll tell you why. Uh, fats are more calorically dense than your carbs and protein. Carbohydrates and protein per gram is 4 calories. However, fat is 9 calories per gram. So, it's really not that challenging. And I'm going to show you some uh, practical and easy tips, not at all, as well as show you some of the best um, sources of healthy fat real quick. I just want to run through them real quick. So I like, I have a very easy time because I drink protein shakes, smoothies, yada yada, and literally a tablespoon of flax oil, hemp oil, um, let's see, one tablespoon of flax oil is 120 calories right there, and it's 13 grams of fat. You could, you could sneak in three of those if you're really like desperate for fat. And it's a basically a similar uh, breakdown of the hemp oil. And these are phenomenal sources of healthy fat. If you're having any kind of bread, I recommend this Ezekiel bread. This is a seventh Sparta grain. It's a very healthy bread. It's actually a complete source of protein. Um, you can put on your almond butter. Peanut butter is okay. I, I, I do that as more of a treat. It's definitely not as um, nutritionally dense as your almond butter. Um, coconut oil, you can mix this in with your smoothies as well. This is very tasty. You want to do it at the end. Once your smoothie is already going, you want to drop it in. Otherwise, it'll, uh, especially if there's like frozen fruit or ice or something, it's going to get too cold and it's going to just solidify. But you want you got to get that thing spinning and then drop it in. Um, I also will use this coconut spread. It's basically a butter made out of coconut oil. It's a little bit processed compared to these. These are phenomenal. These are like extremely healthy foods. They're perfect, basically. This is semi-perfect, but I still use it. Um, but I wouldn't make it all your fat coming from this. If you're a salad guy, I would always, in the past, I don't eat salad too much these days, but I would sprinkle these hemp hearts. They're just hemp seeds. It's basically the same uh, breakdown as this with a little more protein. They have a, a mildly sweet, nutty taste. It's not bad at all. In fact, it's a, a nice complement to a salad. So, let's see. Three tablespoons, 170 calories. But, um, so, I would cut that in half. And it's also 10 grams of protein. So, it's, this is an awesome food right here. Or, literally, I, what I do, and just take a second, I have a little scale here. I set it to grams. I weigh out 28 grams of uh, almonds. And uh, there's 170 calories right there, 15 grams of fat. So, if you are, I would just, what I would do, and also olive oil, if you have, if you're eating any chicken or meat or salad or anything, Drizzle some olive oil on you. You're not going to even notice it's there. Have a tablespoon handy. Have a couple in your drawer near where you prepare your food. And again, just start adding these oils. You can add flaxseed oil to your salad. Um, so it's really, in, in my opinion, easy. What I tend to do is, is uh, eat more of my carbohydrates earlier in the day when I come home at night and I have my smoothie or my whatever, whatever I have, I try to add in my fats. And again, worst case, say you're desperate. Um, I know I recommended this... Uh, this is a, a green, s healthy superfood. I'll sometimes even go as far as just getting a little teeny bit of water, throwing in one of these bad boys, and then bam, a couple tablespoons of oil. And that, again, that's like three, four hundred calories if you pick either one of these. So I hope that helps. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. If you have any further questions about trying to get your, any kind of nutritional questions, go ahead and uh, leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much. Peace.